Yo, what's up everyone? Abigor here today. I'm back here for another banger video. And so today, we're talking about AEW once again. Yeah, I know, I know. People are going to go in the comments telling me something. Ew, why you talk about AEW? You talk about AEW all the time. I know, but listen, listen, listen. It's getting to a point where I'm even getting tired of talking about AEW, bro. And I don't even want to keep making these rant videos about AEW. Like, I really want to talk good about them. Like, I really want to make positive and good videos about AEW. And when AEW does something positive, you know, I'll give them the credit. But it's getting to a point where it's getting repetitive every time. And it's like, it keep doing the same thing. It keep doing the exact same thing every freaking week. And the range is going down even more. And you're wondering why it's keep going down. It's because you won't improve your show. You won't improve it, bro. So in this video, I want to talk about the problems with AW and how you can solve it. But I only got five problems for y'all because I ain't trying to go too crazy on this video, to be honest. But yeah. So, like I said, it's getting to a point where I'm getting tired of talking about AW and all this stuff. And I know people are also going to go in the comments talking about some, oh, if you're talking about AW, then you choose to talk about AW, though. Okay, yeah, I choose to talk about AEW. It's because it's my channel. It is my channel. I'll talk about what I want on my channel. If I can make a championship video, I could do that. It's my channel. I could do whatever I want with it, okay? And if you don't like it, you can go on somewhere, bro. But yeah, anyways, um, let's get to these reasons right here. So, yeah, the first reason, um, and this is one of the biggest reasons. Like, the, the, one of the biggest reasons why AEW is failing right now. The booking. Like, the booking at AEW has been some of the worst I've ever seen. It's not just in the AEW, it's just, like, in any promotion ever. Yeah, I know going to people who go defend this about some, oh, but WWE has bad booking too. Yeah, I know they have bad booking at times. But it's not about WWE, it's about AEW. This, the title is the problems with AEW, not the problems with WWE. So don't even try to bring up WWE in the, uh, in the comments. But it would be a point where I talk about AEW. I said AEW. Well, I talk about WWE a couple times in this video, but it's not going to be that much. But listen, like I said, the booking has been some of the worst I've ever seen. And Revolution, the card, I'm not going to lie, it's not the greatest. It's not the greatest card. Um, we got Warlow and uh, Samoa Joe for the TNT title again. Uh, I really don't know who wins this match. I guess we'll see on uh, on Sunday. Uh, the Fatal 4-Way Tag Team match. Wow, so exciting, right? Okay. Chris Jericho and, um, and Ricky Starks. Another exciting match, right? <sighs> Come on, man. Same thing every time. Uh, what else? <clears throat> hey, oh yeah, uh, Jungle Boy, Kristen Cage, in the No Holds Barred match. Honestly, I thought this feud was gonna be over a long time ago, but I think the feud was been supposed to be over, but it hasn't because you know Kristen Cage, you know he was injured and stuff. So yeah, but I guess we'll see what happens with this uh with this match. Yeah, so so far Revolution pay per view is not that great. Uh, for the card <clears throat> and um you know for the booking and stuff man like you book the same type of matches every week and people are getting gonna get bored and i see some people saying that oh the crowd is too quiet why is nobody interested in this match bro it's not really the crowd's fault it's the booking, bro. I get it. Some cities, you know, they're not going to know. They're not going to show out for the uh, show every time. I get that. I know people going to be like, oh, well, sometimes it be the cities because, you know, the cities, they be going to the show and they should be watching. They don't really be cheering. Okay, yeah. But sometimes it's also the company's fault also. And it's because you're booking matches that nobody really wants to see. 
and you're booking matches that don't even make any sense. Like you over here having Orange Cassidy being um being W Morrissey, bro. Like, come on, dude. I mean, I I get it. We're not in an era of where you know big guys, you know, beat big guys, big guys be small guys all the time, all the time. I see. I get it, we're not that we're kind of not that in, in that era anymore, but at least make it believable. Make it believable that Orange Cassidy could be W Morrissey. But nope. Yeah, just like your uh your small indie guys getting put over all the time. And just having all this um this other heat. And you wonder why people are tuning away. I've been tuned away. I mean, it, now it's been a full year since I watched the episode of Dynamite or Rampage. Because I haven't watched this March of 2022. It is now March of 2023. It's been a full year now. And you no. Know, and that was when Hangman Adam Page was the champion. And his reign wasn't that great. Let's be honest here. It wasn't that great. And you want to know why? It's because of the freaking booking. I mean, yeah, he, had, he had a good tower defenses here and there. But it was just the booking, bro. Like, the booking was just so random at the same time. Like... He defended the title against Dante Martin. Come on, bro. Dante Martin. He also defended the title against Lance Archer, which I have no problem with. Lance Archer, he's he's cool to me. But the thing is, the, the title match had no type of build. This is the world title division, and this is supposed to be the, the main part of the show. And you're over here having a random title match with no type of build. Same thing for the Dante Martin uh, match. That's why you build up the match. That's why you have different segments. So you build up the storyline and people will be invested into watching the match. To see what actually happens down the line. But no, Tony doesn't want to do that. I mean, he had a pretty good build, you know, for MGF and Brian Danielson for Revolution. You no, know, it's pretty good, you know. Brian Downs, he had to fight his way to the number one contender spot. And got a 60-minute Iron Man match. And I don't even know who's going to watch that match all the way through. But I guess we'll see. But yeah. Fix your booking, Tony. Just, please, just fix it, bro. Just fix it. Yeah, I know people are people going to say that I hate AEW. I never hated AEW in the first place. Like I said, I wanted AEW to succeed. I really want them to succeed. But the reason why I'm making these rant videos, I keep making these rant videos on AW, is because I want them to fix their problems and I want them to learn from their mistakes. But they can't do that if they keep doing the same thing every week. But yeah, let's get on to number two. This is going to be a shorter rant, but can wrestlers stop having cheap heat? Like cheap heat, bro. Like I'm talking... People that like go out here and say, oh, this town sucks or, you know, th that type of stuff. And then they should get booze from that. Or they just, you know, say a name from another company, you no know, more like WWE. And people just get a ration from that. Like, come on, bro. Like, I understand not everything they do is going to be creative. You know, people going to say that, say, oh. Well, it's not really their fault, though. You got to be very creative. I mean, I get it. You don't have to make everything creative, but... Like, you know, you can make something simple. And it can still work. But don't make it cheap, bro. Like, and that's the thing with AEW. They constantly have cheap heat. They constantly do cheap heat, bro. Especially with these heels that come out. You know, for the acclaimed, then... Well, I don't even know if the acclaimed is heels anymore, but... Yeah. But, um, you know, same thing for, you know, MJF. You know, he he's a perfect example of him getting cheap heat. But, yeah, that was just a little side rank. But let's get on to number three. Number three is the fans. I believe, or this is just a fact, 
that AEW has the worst fan base in all of the wrestling, in the whole wrestling community. The worst wrestling fan base. Reason why is because whenever someone says something bad about AEW, they just go on a whole rampage, bro. Like they can't, just, they can't take a hint of criticism. People are going to criticize the company. Like no matter what you do, you're going to get heat. And here's the thing too: like if you're popular, like if you're a celebrity, or you know, you're. Or if you're, you know, if a company is popular, no matter how good you do, you're still going to get criticism. No matter what you do, you're still going to get hate. And it's just sad that how many people don't realize that. It's just sad to see how many people don't realize. Well, does a good things actually work? Yeah, it does sometimes. But people are going to hate on the good things also. Everybody is going to get heat. Everybody's going to get hate. Everybody's going to get hate. No matter how good of a person you are, people are going to hate you. And that's just, and it's, it's just a dark truth, man. And if you can't take criticism, then you got to go on somewhere. That's what's wrong with these fans, bro. Like, they'll go out here and... Whenever somebody criticizes their their favorite wrestler, they go after that guy. You say that, oh, you're wrong. You're just a hater, all this stuff. So come on, bro. Just just stop. And I know other people are going to say, oh, but, but, but WWE fans be doing the same thing, though. Okay. Yeah, we, we all know. We all know this. We all should been. We should have been knowing this. We've been knowing this, bro. But it's more common with AEW because AEW literally can't take one peak of criticism. Like, come on, man. Let's get to this next one, and this is one that I've never mentioned on my channel before. And I want to talk about the ranking system. What's a what's the point of a ranking system in the AEW? Having win loss records and stuff, like what, what, what what's the point? What's the point? Win loss records don't even doesn't really matter because as long as you're you know making a character for yourself and you're entertaining, the people are gonna watch. But it doesn't really matter if you win or lose. You know, at the end of the day, just doing your job out there. But I feel like the ranking system doesn't make any sense because people that are number one contenders don't actually get shots for world titles. Don't believe me? Let me give you an example. So about when John Moxley was the the AW champion for the for the first time, I believe. So, Warlow became the number one contender, but he never got a title match. He never got the match. Or was it the second or third time? I don't know. But yeah, when John Moxley was the champion, Warlow became the number one contender. He never got his title match. They kept pushing him to the mid-card division. And you want to know who got that title match to say it? CM Punk did. And that was the only, that wasn't the only time they screwed him over. CM Punk was the champion. And the roles were was reversed. Rollo became the one contender. John Moxley got his uh, opportunity. Even though John Moxley was the fourth contender. So there you go. I feel like the ranking system, it doesn't really make any sense. Just take the ranking system out or just change the role of the ranking system because the ranking system does not make any sense at all because people become number one contenders and they don't actually get their title shots. And I'm, I'm not saying this is the case for all the time. It's not the case for all the time. You no, know, most people, they will get their number one contender opportunities. But if someone becomes the number of contender, 
Let them get their title shot. Let them get it. Instead of just pushing them to the mid-card division every time. Even though they could be, you know, mega main event stars. So yeah, anyways, let's move on to the next one. And this is the last thing I'm going to talk about in this video. I want to talk about the titles. The titles in AEW. So far, most of the titles that is in the AEW has really elevated to anything. And it's not really prestigious at this point. The only title that has some some white kind of prestige is the AEW War title. Everything else, no. Because the TBS title, let's throw the TBS title. Jay Cargo has been champion for well over a year now. And you no, know, she had multiple TBS title defenses. And she's not she has not lost to the match yet. Not lost. But it's getting repetitive at this point. And I feel like, you know, she could she could have you no know, been lost the title and just move on to the world title division, but I I don't know. So I don't know what she's gonna lose the title. Maybe I double or nothing or something, I don't know. But um I guess we'll see what happens down the line with that title. Because so far the title hasn't really done anything for the company. You know, Jay Cargill is still the first champion. She has still have his uh lost the title yet. Cause that title isn't doing anything for the company. Anything. But yeah, let's move on. Um what's next? The all Atlantic title. Sure, Orange Cassidy, he had a he had a few title matches here and there. But he hasn't really been doing anything with that title either. I mean, yeah, it may look good. But, you know, it doesn't elevate good. You know, for to be in the, the division of, you know, the mid card. Speaking of mid card, let's move on to the TNT title. TNT title, like, when it debuted, it has some potential. You know, when uh, Cody Rose fell, sold it. You know, the, um, the brother Lee uh, held it. Rest in peace. Um, you know, Cody got it back. Then, you know, Darby Allen held the title for a while. They lost in the Miro. Then Sammy Guevara won it. And that's where everything went to flop. Yeah, so... It's always these bikes. Anyways, um, listen... I feel like as soon as Sammy Guevara won the title the first time from uh, Miro, that's where everything went to flops. Because at that point, the, the title was just going at hot potato. It was going to keep going back and forth, back and forth to one wrestler to another. Because Cody won it again. The Sammy got it back. Then uh, Scorpio Sky won it, which most people forgot that he was actually the TNT champion twice, which I I don't blame those people because that title wearing was forgettable. Uh, the semi guard war, semi won it the third time. The Scorpio Sky won it the second time. Then he lost in the, the uh, Warlow. I was about to say Miro, but yeah, he lost in the Warlow. Oh, speaking of Miro, where he been at? What, what's Miro been at? My father, I'm going to get to all that in a sec. But yeah, um, yeah, Samoa Joe, he won it. Then he lost to Darby Allen somehow. I don't even know how he lost to our Darby Allen. And then and now Samoa Joe has it again. Like, come on, man. And that's why I don't get to because you're giving the title to Darby and then you make it Samoa Joe win it right back, like. If that was the case, then you could have just kept the title on Samoa Joe then if he was going to win the title back. Like, come on, stop having all these short reigns. I just have, you know, a title reign that actually means something. 
The same for the trios titles. The trios titles got to be the most pointless title in the off AEW. Like, what's the point? What's the point? Like, really, what, what's the point, bro? I know some people will say, oh, well, um, it's too many tag teams in the AEW, so they had to make a trios uh, division. Okay. But at the same time, there wasn't really any point for a trios title. They were just doing that just to add another title in the AEW. Like, come on, man. So, how many titles y'all got? Y'all got, like, what, seven to eight titles in AEW? Like, come on, man. Because these titles, man... He hasn't really done anything for the company. He hasn't really elevated it to nothing. He hasn't really been doing anything. And now let me get to the mirrors, though. Like, of course, y'all put people off TV. And then when they come back on TV, people don't really care. They don't really, you know, get vested anymore. And that's because of you, Tony. But yeah, that's all I have to say about this, man. I'll see y'all boys next time. Peace.